रिमेंबर दिस इज द सोल्यूशन टू प्रॉब्लम नंबर इलेवन इलेवन राइट प्रॉब्लम नंबर इलेवन ओके वन सेकेंड लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू स्टॉक टर्न ओवर रेशियो इज इक्वल टू कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल डिवाइडेड बाई एवरेज इन्वेंट्री कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड इज नॉट गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम सो हेन्स वॉट वी डिड इज वी अप्लाइड द फॉर्मुला नेट सेल्स माइनस ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट एंड द नेट सेल्स इज टेन लैक माइनस ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट इज टू लैक वी गेट एट लैक एज कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड डिवाइडेड बाई एवरेज इन्वेंट्री इज वन लैक इज ऑलरेडी गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम सो दैट द आंसर इज एट टाइम्स नेक्स्ट इज ट्रेड रिसीवेबल टर्न ओवर रेशियो इज इक्वल टू नेट क्रेडिट सेल्स डिवाइडेड बाय एवरेज ट्रेड रिसीवेबल both the information is available problem that is 6 lakh and 1 lakh and the next is trade payable turnover ratio which is equal to net credit purchases divided by average trade payables even these two information are also available in the problem one is 5 lakh and the other one is 2 lakh 50 hence the result will be two times and the next is gross profit ratio in this the ratio is gross profit divided by net sales gross profit is already given in the problem 2 lakh and net sales is also there that is 10 lakh into 100 it will be 20% then fifth is operating ratio and the formula is cost of goods sold plus operating expenses divided by net sales and the cost of goods sold is 8 lakh as per working note number 1 and operating expenses is 1 lakh which is given in the problem so the resultant will be 90% because it will be 9 lakh divided by 10 lakh into 100 sorry here i forgot to mention that is into 100 and the sixth one is net profit ratio and the formula is net profit divided by net sales into 100 and the net profit is 1 lakh divided by 10 lakh into 100 means it is 10% so So now, moving ahead to the Whether problem number eight was your homework? Just check. No, no sir. No sir. Seven was there. Sir. No sir. No, okay. Sir. Even you can for today you can note down eight, eight as your homework. Okay, sir. now the next problem is the problem number 9 which has investment turnover ratio fixed asset turnover ratio operating profit ratio and next is dividend ratio and book value per share out of the Yes, I will solve today three ratios and remaining three ratios we will solve in the next class, right? Before I want to give you some formulas, so for that reason I am not solving it today. Problem number nine. Thank you. 
Let's start. So first, investment turnover ratio. Can you tell me what is the formula for investment turnover ratio? Or you can call it as net assets turnover ratio. One more name to this ratio. Investment turnover ratio is equal to net sales capital employed. Net sales divided by capital employed. Can somebody tell me what is net sales and what is capital employed in this problem? Net sales is 20 lakhs. Net sales is 20 lakhs. Okay. Net sales is 20 lakhs. Okay. Three lakhs of capital employment. No. No, no, no. 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 See here. Capital employed is equal to capital employed is equal to Sir, your mic is mute, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, 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 sir. So, I have found out that it has come to around 9 lakh rupees. So, what is the formula of the investment turnover ratio? Net sales divided by capital employed. So, 20 lakh divided by 9 lakh rupees. So, what is the formula of the net sales divided by capital employed? So, what is the formula of the net sales divided by capital employed? So, what is the formula of the net sales divided by capital employed? So, what is the formula of the net sales divided by capital employed? So, what is the formula of the net sales divided by capital employed? So, what is the formula of the net sales divided by capital employed? So, what is the formula of the net sales divided by capital employed? So, what is the formula of the net sales divided by capital employed? So, what is the formula of the net sales divided by capital employed? So, what is the formula of the net sales divided by capital employed? So, what is the formula of the net sales divided by capital employed? So, what is the formula of the net sales divided by capital employed? So, what is the formula of the net
नेक्स्ट सेकेंड वन फिक्स द सेट्स टर्न ओवर रेशियो फिक्स द सेट्स टर्न ओवर रेशियो इज इक्वल टू नेट सेल्स डिवाइडेड बाय फिक्स असेट्स नाउ द नेट सेल्स इज ट्वेंटी लैक्स can somebody tell me what is fixed assets here 3 lakh sir it is 8 lakh sir ha 3 lakh sir 8 lakhs 8 lakh 8 lakh now i'll tell you how here the formula for fixed asset is there are totally two fixed assets yes. one is plant and machinery, machinery plus furniture plus Now, what is plant and machinery? Three lakh. Three lakh. Three lakh. Three lakhs. Five lakhs. Five lakhs. Two. The list eight lakh. Next. वर्किंग कैपिटल टर्न ओवर रेशो वर्किंग कैपिटल हाउ मच इट विल बी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी लैक्स डिवाइडेड बाई एट लैक टू पॉइंट फाइव सर टू पॉइंट फाइव टाइम्स फाइव टाइम्स पॉइंट फाइव जीरो टाइम्स द नेक्स्ट Working capital turnover ratio is equal to net sales divided by working capital. What is net sales? Twenty lakhs. Whether working capital is given in the problem? No, sir. No, ah. sir. Working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. Working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. Now, the current assets which is given in the problem. Four lakhs. Four lakhs. Four lakhs. Right. Four lakh. And current liabilities. Two lakh fifty thousand. Ah. So working capital is one lakh fifty thousand. So here also it should be one lakh fifty thousand. So can somebody tell me what is the value? Thirteen point three three. Thirteen point three three times. Thirteen point three three times. Thirteen point three three times. Yes, हो गया सो रिमेनिंग थ्री रेशोस वी विल लर्न टुमारो ओके
Okay, so tomorrow we will meet for the class. Until that time, bye. You are able to hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. So we'll finish today's class, and tomorrow we will continue with the remaining three ratios. Yes, sir.